Catherine Simpson, known as Cathy, and uh, I'm one of the friends of Market Drayton Library. To learn new skills, new facts, and to develop. And it's free, and it's for everybody. I like that. And when you're not in full-time work, if you're not careful, you only meet other retired people. So it was an opportunity to meet and work with a wide variety of people. I have been a lifelong member of libraries. My favourite thing is seeing what people achieve. I'm Georgina and I'm a volunteer at Market Drayton Library. I originally chose to volunteer at the library as part of my Bronze Duke of Edinburgh Award. Um, I completed three months worth of volunteering and I absolutely loved it. My favourite thing about being a volunteer is that I do generally feel a part of the community. I know that's quite cliche but I've never really had this experience before. It's great because with being a friend of the library and hosting so many different events I've been able to meet so many different people and it's nice to know that you're having such a positive influence in creating such a nice atmosphere that people want to return to again and again. The library is important to me because it is the hub of the community. It's a place you can always come to that you know you're going to be greeted with a friendly face. The library here at Market Drayton, it provides things that perhaps you wouldn't expect your local library to provide for you. Well, my mother had been very involved with the Home Library Service. Well, I think it's a tremendous benefit. We've been told so often. Uh, I know one person who said it was a lifeline. Um, I don't think we realise how, quite how lonely it can be to be stuck in the house. Mm. It's somebody calling, it's somebody to talk to, it's perhaps new authors, keeps the mind lively. Um, I think it's incalculable benefit. We're getting an increasingly elderly population. People realise just how much loneliness reacts on people's health. And the volunteers benefit too. We've met some amazing people. We had two that were over a hundred and still interested in reading their books, discussing. Um, I think it's so worthwhile. Oh, reading. Um, not that confident about reading at all. It's not my forte. With dyslexic, over the years you get techniques. Approached me really to say, look, we're starting this new group and it is for adults who have got all different levels of reading difficulties. I'll always have a difficulty in reading. Uh, that's never going to go away. I wasn't the only one. There was so many of you know, with all different levels um, and the friendship we built up. We were in a book club. I've never been in a book club. Really great to be working in collaboration with you at, at the library here in Oswestry. A great idea for um, people with dementia and their carers to have a, an hour together to look at um, the memory bags that the library have put together. The person with dementia obviously gets a great deal of pleasure about talking through the things that are in the memory box. The carer can also have some time to chat to me as the carer advisor, take the opportunity to see what the library has to offer because you've got a great range of, of books, specifically different conditions and self-help groups. So it was a really good collaboration between us and, and the library for carers. Everybody knows about the library even if they're infrequent users. It's a very much part of Fossil Street and part of the community and everything is here. The staff are very friendly and welcoming and cooperative and it's just a really nice place to be to, to do things for and with carers. Here are aware of our service so can direct carers to us if, if necessary. It just means a lot to people to have that opportunity to be in a place where they know that what they do is recognised and valued.